Hi there. Welcome to another episode of our weekly tutorials. And today I want to show you how you can stop wasting your pencils through sharpening. And if you have a sharpener or your paper knife, you can get them ready so that we can practice together. So let's get into it. Let's remember that the darker the pencil, the softer the graphite or the charcoal in it may be, regardless of the brand that you're using. With my experience with the charcoal pencils, it's always easy for me to sharpen the hard and the neutral charcoal pencils, but when it comes to the soft ones, it's very tough. And this same thing applies to the dark graphite pencils like the 8B, 14B and Co. It's very difficult to sharpen them. We're going to use two sharpening tools in this video, that is the sharpener and then a paper knife. What works for me is the paper knife. but I first want to take you through the effect of the sharpener with my pencils and later I'll take you through the paper knife. Using the normal sharpeners that we've been using in school isn't a problem but the problem is these soft pencils are too fragile and they cannot withstand the pressure that comes with the sharpener so it's very easy for it to break in the sharpener. What I feared is already happening. I think the charcoal pencil is broken and it's stuck inside. This is exactly what I was talking about. I have lost lots of pencils through this procedure and with this sharpening tool. So I had to sit myself down and experiment the best technique to get my pencils well sharpened regardless of how soft it is. And let's quickly move on to the main thing. I'm going to sharpen another soft charcoal pencil with a different sharpening tool. I prefer to use a paper knife because it's easy to handle. Usually when you buy this, it comes with a pack of blades that you can be changing from time to time and i've been using this for over two years because when part of the blade is blunt i can even break it off and be using the other part which is inside the paper knife to show how good this paper knife is i decided not to change the blade um, i've been using this blade for a couple of weeks and i've sharpened lots of pencils with it so obviously it's a bit blunt but i think i still can use it for this soft charcoal pencil it's really blunt you can see how i'm exerting pressure on it and if you don't have a good experience with this i suggest you use a new blade because if you exert too much pressure on it it's going to affect the charcoal inside and create crack again sharpening with this tool is not where the magic is the real magic is how you use your index finger to support the pencil while sharpening and then how you sharpen the wood. I'm going to talk about this in two parts. So first, let's look at how we sharpen the wood. A lot of people try to sharpen the pencil at once, but no, that's an error. That's not how it's done. If you do that, you're going to break the pencil at any time. In order to protect the charcoal or the graphite inside, you don't peel off all the wood. You leave about one millimeter diameter of wood around the graphite or the charcoal so that the impact of the sharpening wouldn't be too hard on the charcoal or the graphite inside and i'm saying it again if you're still peeling the wood do not expose the graphite to the charcoal because if you do that it can break at any time because of the pressure being exerted by the peeling of the wood depending on how long i want my graphite or charcoal to be i peel off all the wood around that area but remember to leave about one millimeter of the wood around the pencil to create a support for it don't forget this when all is done i peel off the one millimeter wood that i left around the graphite or the charcoal so now the whole thing is exposed but because it was very thin i was able to do it without creating impact on the graphite or the charcoal you don't have to rush here because you can't risk breaking it at this point let's get to the next stage where we're going to talk about how to use the index finger and if you haven't subscribed kindly take a second to hit on the like and the subscribe button to help push the channel thanks a lot so let's continue we're moving to the stage where we're going to use the index finger to support the exposed graphite or charcoal that we've already sharpened the wood off and kindly note that this is the stage that you have to be extra careful with your index finger or the sharpening tool because a little pressure from either side is going to break the pencil. I don't move my index finger. I only use it as a support system. At this point, I don't think the scraping breaks the graphite. Probably how you move your index finger that may exert a little pressure on it. And then because it's fragile, it may break. One of the things I realize can make your graphite break is when you scrape the middle to be too thin. So what I do is just as a sharpener does, I use the paper knife to get a conical and pointed shape at the tip. And then I later scrape the middle part to be a little thin. So the base of my exposed graphite or charcoal will be broad and then the middle will be thin and then the tip will be round and thinner. Even if it doesn't break at this point when you're sharpening it, when you're drawing, because the middle is as thin as the tip, it's going to break when you're shading because it doesn't have any support. If you do study this technique and use it very well, I don't think you're going to break your pencils anymore because I don't remember the last time I broke my pencils. Well, one may ask, why do you have to sharpen your pencil this long? Well, for me, 
um, per my experience, even if the sharpener doesn't break the graphite, it's kind of short. And when I work with it, I have to go back and sharpen it within a short time. I don't like that disruption when I'm drawing. So I make sure my graphite or charcoal is long enough for me to shade with it for a long period of time. And again, with the paper knife or razor blade, I'm able to get a very sharp edge that helps me get finer shading texture. I may still get a best pointed edge with the sharpener, but it doesn't last. It just wears off easily because as I said, it's soft. Lastly, I'm able to get fine grain charcoal powder when I'm using the paper knife to sharpen my pencil. I use this in my drawing as well. So I don't only get to save my pencils, but I'm able to save powder and use it in my drawing, which is a win-win for me. Same way I found a solution to the problem of pencil wastage. I believe this is going to help you resolve that problem as well. And if you like the video, kindly hit the subscribe and the like button and feel free to ask your questions in the comment section. Or or if there's anything that you want me to create a content on, feel free to suggest and we're going to work on it. See you again.